Okay, so um, in sports news, you you rarely really get shocked, don't you? And then every now and then something gets thrown up and you Mm -hmm. just think, what world are we living in at the moment? And there was a news story that came up. Um, I saw it this morning. Um, It's been flying around social media. It's now made all of the headlines as well. Um, A horrendous video of Kurt Zuma. Um, It emerged on social media yesterday. The Sun picked it up as well. The West Ham defender um, was filmed kicking and slapping his cat. Yes, unbelievably. It's an exclusive in the Sun today, front page news. It's believed to have happened on Sunday, just one day after West Ham's FA Cup victory over um, Kidderminster Harriers. With you, man, I walked in this morning, and obviously we've got the front pages at the bottom of the, on the ground floor, and I had to have a double take. I, I, I looked at it, you know that way you just have a glance at it, and then you see the papers and you come up to the top floor, and then I looked at it again, and I actually found myself reading it, uh, and you know somebody you're right nothing should surprise us anymore but that was actually s- sickening because I came up and then one of the boys showed me the video now in normal circumstances I'll be quite honest with you I wouldn't have looked at the video because I just don't want to see things like that mm-hmm. however due to the fact that we come on and we have to talk about these things you've got to have a look at it and it was it was sickening it was pathetic it was bullying of the extreme and it just I don't know it just again tarnished the image of professional footballers it it was it was embarrassing and shocking and horrible at the same time it was all of those things Mm. I mean and then to commit and do what he did is is the most horrendous of, 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 of crimes right however however to film it and then put it out I mean, if you talk about gross stupidity, I don't know what level you're talking about there. Let's just hear what the sports bar Jason Cundy had to say about this when he saw it. This was him last night. It's not just the video that that is upsetting. It's the way it's shot and the way that it is... What what Comedy. they're trying to get out of it. Yes, they're enjoying the... the mm. You know, they're laughing, they're giggling. And it and then, you know, the, actually, the, the, believe it, and what I found... What not the kick? The kick in it is bad, but what happens afterwards where they torment it and clearly it's scared, hunting it around a table, it looks like, which for me is worse, and then the slap around the head. That's the, that, that's the one for me. And it's also the fact that they enjoy doing it. That's the bit. Yeah. Uh, football writer Simon Johnson was also on the sports bar last night and revealed what ramifications the West Ham defender could face. I think it's too early to say any, but the, the Sun do sort of suggest that um, the RSPCA could sort of push for prosecution if they okay. if they so wish. And I'm sure they'll be under pressure uh, from outraged people to to take some kind of action um, and, and to try and push it a bit further. But we'll, I'm sure this, as I said, this story will develop in the next few days or so. OK, here's what Kurt Azuma has said. He's apologised for the video. He says, I want to apologise for my actions. There are no excuses for my behaviour, which I sincerely regret. I also want to say how deeply sorry I am to anyone who was upset by the video. I would like to assure, I would like to assure everyone that our two cats are perfectly fine and healthy. Um, for me, you got caught. It's not even that you just got caught. Someone's filmed you surreptitiously. Your, your mate or your brother, whoever it was that was filming you, has filmed you and you're performing to the camera and you think it's all right to treat a cat like that um, and treat any kind of living creature like that in front of your kid as well, by the way. That, 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 that's, that's the thing that absolutely astounds me. You know, in this day and age with, with football players, I mean, I'll go, I'll go to somebody else in that West Ham team who at this moment in time is doing everything you'd want from... A son, a brother, and that's some like Declan Rice, right? He, what an example he's shown the kids the way he goes about his business, the way he handles himself in interviews. He's always got a smile on his face. I saw I saw an unbelievable um, video the other day as well. Yesterday, Jack Grealish going to see mm. a, a, a disabled a disabled, girl. disabled girl, which was was fantastic to see. All that good just gets washed away. When something like this happens, and you think, I just think the kids are watching that. The kids are seeing that. I'm saying because of social media, I say, well, not in our day, it's fine. But my kids, I told you, my kids are showing me mm. the other thing we spoke about last week. It's just crazy for me. The, the, I can't get my head around the fact that he knows he's being filmed. He's performing to the camera. He's doing these things to this cat, which are just for me. It, 
sickening. And what sort of a person are you where you do that to begin with? And secondly, what sort of a person are you that when you know you're being filmed, you think it's funny to perform and then you know it's going to probably know it's going to go out on social media. Um, I think there's some serious issues with that person. Um, I don't know how it's going to be dealt with now, whether or not they will prosecute. I almost feel like I want them to because for him to be doing that and, and to be filmed, he's probably done it before, hasn't he? Um, I've, I've just, it, I dread to think. I dread to think what the kids watching him think is acceptable as well. I dread to think what the kids on social media then will look and think it's okay to do to their own cats in their house. I'm just going to boot my cat across the room because Kurt Zuma did it. I'm going to slap my cat around the head because um, that's anyone that's got kids or knows kids knows how impressionable yeah. they are. That's a Premier League football and then, footballer doing that. And then that. there's another issue, which is a smaller issue, but it's still a big issue. Davy Moyes gets up this morning and reads that and all of a sudden... Yeah. he's got to speak to his press people they've got to make a statement he might have been in the team is it? does he stay in the team do we have to discipline him I mean it's just an absolute nightmare one of the things that could happen he could be banned from having animals which I think 100% 100% I, I, don't, I just don't think there's any question ban him from having animals um, potentially they could prosecute him and now you're right in the football side of this which seems insignificant in comparison but puts West Ham puts the manager puts the fans and a, and a team that are trying to go for top four under a lot of pressure here because West Ham are going to have to act on this in some way um, Ali it's an awkward question for me to ask you but if you were the manager what would you do? Um, initially you'd have to speak to him you'd talk to him I don't think I'd play him you'd try and, you'd try and keep the discipline in house you, you, I don't think you can play him you've got to leave him out and you've got to be seen to be doing the right thing uh, and it's a nightmare I mean you look at West Ham they're going for they're having one of the best seasons in a long long time they're going for fourth place they're going for Champions League they're going for Europe but this is bigger than that and it's just ridiculous it's horrendous, isn't it? It's just, it's a really sickening. Uh, I, I I'll be honest. I couldn't watch the whole no, video. I, I couldn't I watch it, and I know that we're we're coming on and, and talking about it. So, I've I've seen all the screenshots. I've seen part of it, but it it turned my stomach so much I couldn't watch it. Um, I don't know how to deal with it. I imagine you know, just another another mm -hmm. massive. What what's going on, Ali? What is what? How as a club? Do you have to go and re-educate your players and, and say, like, how do you even approach... I'm not saying that all... By the way, we have to be careful because we're not saying that all footballers are like this or anything like that, but but why why are you... No, uh, we're not, but... And we have just given a couple of examples there. Declan Rice and, and Jack Gleish, obviously, with, with, with the, uh, the young handicapped girl, which are, which is fantastic. But that these things should be expected. They should be the norm. This is absolutely unbelievable what we've seen in the last 10 days, to be honest with you. Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods. Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.